Hey YouTube, it's Forever Day here, and today I'm bringing you guys another DIY project. So today I'm just going to be customizing these boots right here. And no, they are not Timberlands. <laughs> um, I've actually never worn these shoes. I always wanted to decorate them. I felt like they would be cute and it would be a fun product to decorate. And I'm so glad I waited. So now I have all the materials that I need that I can decorate them. If you guys do want, you can use Timberlands boots. This is just what I had. Um, I didn't want to buy any because I felt like these were just fine and plus if you mess up these didn't cost as much as the Timberlands did. If you want to get some of these just for practice, I will put the links down for them below. So today what exactly I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be putting the cheetah print on the tongue and then I'm going to be putting some cheetah print on the back. I don't really know what this is called but I'm going to be putting some here. And then I'm going to be putting spikes on the side. And if you guys are wondering where my hair is, it's actually in a bun. Yeah. I'm not bald headed, you guys. It's still there. So, without further ado, let's step right into this video. Okay, so to start off, I'm going to be showing you guys the shoes that I got. These shoes are a Faded Glory brand, and if you would like to know, I will put them in the description box below. And then I got these spikes. These spikes are from Amazon. And then you want to have your fabric. It doesn't even have to be cheetah print. That's just what I wanted, but you want to get your fabric. And then get some scissors. And I know you guys see the fabric glue in the back, but I actually did not use that because it didn't stick. I ended up using this hot glue gun. So to first start off, I'm just going to be taking off the shoestrings. So to start the shoe, I'm going to be getting my fabric and I'm going to be lining it up with the tongue. So once I have the fabric lined up, I'm just going to be making a cut where I want the fabric to stop. And this is the little cut right here. And I'm just going to take the scissors and try and cut a neatly lined halfway down. Then I'm just going to be placing the fabric back on the tongue to try and see where I want to cut it at the bottom. And I kind of want to cut it right here. So I'm just going to take my scissors and make a little small cut. This cut right here. And then I'm just going to cut it. So this is the straight side that it came with and this is the side that I cut. I know my cut's not that perfect but it's okay because we're going to put it at the top of the tongue so you can't even tell. So right now you just want to move the fabric around so you can see where you want it to be at so you can see what it's going to look like. Okay, so this cut right here, I cut it diagonally so that it would fit better inside the tongue. Like, you see how the other side of the fabric is like covering the holes of the shoestrings? Yeah, so you kind of want to fix that. So I fixed that on this side and I'm just going to fix it on the other side. And I'm just going to take the scissors and yeah, kind of cut diagonally up. And then this is what it looks like. So when you put the fabric back inside the shoe, it fits perfectly. And the holes that were covered by the fabric is no longer covered.
This part is pretty simple, you just glue the fabric on. And like I said before, you can't tell the messed up part that you cut because we're folding the fabric inside the shoe. And this is what it turned out to look like. And now we have to glue the bottom on. Once you finish with the gluing the top and the bottom, you just want to glue down any pieces of fabric that are sticking out. And your fabric should look something like this. Alright, so now it's time for the spikes. So to put my spikes on, what I did was I used some scissors to punk a hole through the shoe. But if you have like a mini drill or something that's easier for you to punk a hole, I would use that. And then the spikes come with a little screw in and I'm just going to stick that screw in through the back or the inside of the shoe, sorry. And then the spikes come with the spike which has a screw on the inside that you just use to screw on top of the other part. And this is what the spike will look like. So I'm just gonna go ahead and finish putting some the rest of my spikes on. This is just one more time showing you how to put the spike on. You just screw it like a top. And then you're done. The inside should look something like this. And then however you evenly disperse your spikes. Now for the back part of the shoe. What I'm going to be doing is lining up some of the fabric and then I'm just going to make the little cut where I usually make the cuts to know where I'm going to cut the fabric. And then once I've cut the fabric, I want to line it up where the back of the shoe part is that I want to cover and the piece that I cut is really long so I'm just going to be cutting it where I want it to go and the shoe has like kind of a bottle shape in the back so it's not just the fabric should not just go straight down the shoe like you kind of have to shape it and that's what I'm doing here where I cut it diagonally like I did the top of the shoe or the tongue of the shoe and then I kind of have to shape it to make it look like the design in the back of the shoe so you can see me cutting it a few times to kind of make it like the design And then once I have the one side that I want, I just fold it and then that's how I get the other side to look just like it. You fold it and then you kind of cut it the same way. And then after that, you just want to take your hot glue gun and then just glue it down.
Now we can put the shoestrings back in. And this is what it looks like when it's done. Now we can put these babies on. Alright guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and please subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys on my next upload. Bye!